Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a trailhead unit. So this unit is asking us to create an Apex class with a method that returns an array or a list of strings. So the Apex class has a method, returns an array or a list of formatted strings that are of the form test, space, and then a number. The length of the array is determined by an integer parameter. So here we have our developer, here we have our playground open, and we're going to open up the developer console. So the first thing we need to do is create an Apex class called string array test. To do that, we're just going to go file, new, Apex class. We're going to call it string array test. This is going to automatically generate our class and it's already in the public scope. So now the class needs to have a public static method called generate string array. And this method must return an array or a list of strings and it must accept an incoming integer as a parameter. Okay, so now that we know all that, we can say public static, it's gonna return a list of strings and it's gonna be called generate string array. By the way, these namings are very important to pass the trailhead because that's what it uses to test whether you've carried out. Um, the functionality or not. So this generates string or error function or method takes one parameter, an integer, we're just going to call it n. So that's our definition finished. So what do we need to do next? Well, we need to initialize this list of strings. So to do that, we're just going to say list string just going to say r equals new list string. So this is just initializing this list of strings. And to get rid of this error, which is telling us that we're not returning anything yet, we can say return r. And that should get rid of that. If we just save, so now that error is gone away. So what do we need to do next? Well, we need to fill up this list with strings and the strings need to be of the format test and then an integer where n is the index of the current string in the array. So how would we do that? So we know what n is here. So let's just make a for loop. We're gonna say integer i equals zero, i up as far as n, i plus plus. So we need this amount of integers in the list. So to do that, we can just say array.add and then we can add in this string plus i. And then all we need to do is return it. So that's that's this finished. Um, we'll just check the challenge to make sure we've done everything right. Sometimes it takes a bit of time. So, so we've completed. So hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.